All right, guys, welcome to episode 149 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to tell somebody you love them, all right? Facts. We're back with another one. It's Thursday. It's Thirsty Thursdays. It got my little white wine on me. You know what I'm saying? John's over here being a responsible adult. Yeah, man. Drinking water. I got fucking shit faced last night <laughs> at the fucking studio, so yeah, He I'm said good. it's over. It's over. It's over. But we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody tuning back in, man. And yeah, bro. Beautiful Thursday. How we feeling, Johnny? Ah, uh, man, I'm feeling good, bro. I'm chilling. I'm kind of cozy right now. Oh, uh, with the lumberjack, lumberjack the a little lumba, bit. Lumber. You know this is actually what I wore at the, the lumber. <laughs> this is what I actually wore at the concert. Uh, you know what I mean? So I was feeling hey, like listen, a lumber. Hey, listen, man. Round of applause yeah. for the motherfuckers going to country concerts and lumberjack yeah. shirts. All right, you get your yeet yeet on, and you keep it fucking moving. Fucking yeeting and skating. Can't say that no more. Oh yeah, remember we when we found out what it means? We can't say that no oh, more. Oh god, yeah. Actually, I forgot about <laughs> that. Yo, don't look that up, guys. Don't look it up, man. Yeah. That shit's horrible. I stopped saying it as soon as I found out. Yeah. But listen, man. You know what I think is horrible <laughs> is these fifty kids getting suspended for the Nardo Wig Challenge, bro. I looked at the challenge they did, bro, and I'm not gonna lie, it was hard. It was hard. For real? Round of, yeah, man. Round of applause to those kids, bro. That shit was hard. If I was... Like, I thought back to when we were in high school. Bro, we would have done something like that, I don't that, know, bro. bro. Except that our janitors probably wouldn't have been bitching. And teachers probably wouldn't have been, like, suspending half the fucking school. Everybody wants to be Karens and Lindas. Like, just stop. <laughs> Facts, bro. Seriously, bro. Like, they, they, there were no guns in the video. Facts. There were phones and yeah. trophies. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> school trophies and phones. It's like, come on, bro. bro what They're else can they do, kids, bro? Man. Let him be creative. Yeah, we can't like, be creative anymore. You can't fucking express yourself if it fucking offends somebody. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. Let these kids do what they want to do, bro. There's gonna be gangster rap if you like it or yeah. not. No matter and what. Listen, I'm gonna tell you what. Ninety eight percent of the people I listen to gangster rap aren't gangster. No, they're listening <laughs> to that driving to work. Yeah, like, bro, and it gets you hyped for the gym. They're gang banging on their forklift. Like they're not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they're not out here. Like in uh, the streets, bro, and it's okay. Like it's yeah. like it's like what like having a preference for movies where you're like, I don't like horror, I like uh mobster movies. It's the same thing. It's like saying I don't like rock, I prefer to listen to hip hop. Does okay. that mean you're doing everything that you're fucking listening to? So why so why in the hell did I we didn't get suspended. I, I had a fucking movie class and we had to make our own movie and we used the uh uh one of those like the plastic guns. Yeah. Like the the one the, 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 the Yeah, yeah, like a yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the one that shoots out when you're a fucking kid. You fucking shoot each other. But yeah. anyways, like... The BB guns and shit? Yeah, no, nah, it wasn't even a BB gun. It was oh, like, like the, a little the, pellet gun that just no, goes the, pow? No, the stupid little... What do you call it? What's the word? Where you... You know, it's like the one that sticks to the to the wall. I'm at a loss for words. I don't know. But anyways, guys, it shoots out a little thing and it's... <laughs> Not a real gun, <laughs> but we but it's shaped as a gun, okay? But we didn't get suspended for that, so why? Yeah. Like that don't that don't make sense, bro? Nah, that shit's hard. I feel like bro. I feel like it's getting you, softer, listen, softer. I hope that these kids get paid for that video, bro, because I'm telling you, bro, they're gonna look back at that like ten years and be like, oh, this is memories. Because you gotta think about it. Some of those kids are gonna be gone. Some of those kids aren't gonna. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. life goes on, things happen. So when you look back, like there's videos from us in high school that I I look at now and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that. It's memories. Yeah. And that shit was hard, bro. If you look at that whole video, you're like, yo, these that shit's hard. So round of applause to those kids. They Keep being suspended. creative. Yeah. Got suspended. Probably ISS. Who it knows? Is, nah, I'd probably like out of school suspension <laughs> for like a day or two. They said we're not dealing with this thuggery. We're not we're not dealing with it. <laughs> It's like go home and do We're that not shit. dealing with it. <laughs> nah, I'm in the lumberjack. Oh man, bro. Nah, I'm just kidding, man. Yo, man, that's crazy. How the holidays are here. The holidays are here. Yeah, holidays are here. You know what I'm saying? People are flying out. They're going to visit family. Families coming to visit them. People are leaving their houses unattended. All right. And you got to get your home security up during this time of year. Get you some cameras. Yeah. Get you a little alarm or whatever. So if something happens, you're secured because it's wild, bro. It's it's a wild time of the year, bro. Their home invasions are up. You know what I'm saying? Home invasions are up. Yo, that's crazy. Robberies are up. Yeah, I'll tell you what to rob, you know? bro. Yeah, Not me. Could, yeah, try it if you want to, bro. Yeah. We live in a fucking stay in your ground law state, dog. In, in Florida? I wouldn't rob nobody in Florida. 
Hey, listen, I'm going to tell you what. Or Texas. Honestly, like eight out of ten houses have a gun in them here. Yeah. No lie. No, like, for real. Like, it's one of those states. I think the only other state that has more guns than us, honestly, is Texas. They have just as much as not more guns because it's a way bigger state. I want to I wouldn't mess around in Texas, man. No, 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 bro. You're yeah. allowed to legally carry a gun on your hip. Like, anybody could see it. So I wish you would run in the <laughs> store, bitches. Go ahead. Even Grandma Sally's going to pull out a revolver and shoot your dumb ass. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you. Come try. I dare you. <laughs> nah, man. That's, that's yeah. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Here, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, man. It, bro, listen. The bro. holidays. The gun's never the problem. Is the mentality behind the gun. Yeah. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just keep it real. It's never the gun; it's the mentality behind the gun. Whoever has a gun in their hand chooses to do what they choose to do with it. Bro, th- it's like the car that just the guy that just drove through the parade with the car. <laughs> I'm sorry. I always bring it up. That's with horrible. That. It's like, bro, are you gonna fucking ban cars in that city now because you ran fucking fifty people over? Exactly. You feel me? It's like, bro, bro. stop the horse shit, bro. There's so many guns. Bro, there's so many guns in this country that if people were really wilding, yeah, we would have already killed each other off. There's way more guns than there are people on this fucking did you, continent, did, bro. Like, no lie. Did you see the mayor of Michigan? What nah, he posted? What he did? Nah, because recently that you know they had that shooting, and he was known for that picture where he was standing outside with his wife. I don't know if it was him actually. It was somebody. Oh, was, that guy with the wife. Yeah, bro. They he, didn't he, know he, how to hold those guns. Yo, he. You had, saw her holding that shit. She was about to let that bitch off and shoot herself in her foot. Yeah, he had a freaking. He made a postcard like a winter, like Christmas postcard <laughs> with his family. <laughs> And it was like all of them like strapped hey, next to it, like the Christmas tree. Hey yo yo, and I'm like yo, I no. agree with it. Fuck them. Hey yo, come to the house and try it again. Yeah, seriously. That's what I want you to do. Because I'm at my house minding my business, it, and there's fucking people looting and fucking scooting, and they're I'm not gonna let you fuck up my house. Fuck you. It blows my mind that people are against guns. That no one should have them. You know that we're the only country in the world that's like. Armed like all the civilians yeah, but are. We're armed. the only. Their argument is we're the only country in the world that has mass gun violence too, and I it's kind of true. And it is true. It is true. It like, is. Niggas shoot each other because we're mad every day. Yeah, every day. If they took it away, yeah. But I mean, guess but what? It doesn't matter, bro. I used the to bad talk, people are still gonna get the guns, bro. I used to talk to my homeboy. He was like around my age, and his parents owned like he was like Indian from India. Yeah, and his parents owned like a gas station, but used to work there. And we used to talk like after work, you know what I'm saying? I'd pull over, get some blunts. Yeah. And he'd be like, yo, bro, you like America? And he'd be like, you like America? I'm like, yeah, bro. And he's like, yeah, bro, I like it over here, man. It's, it's pretty calm. Like in my country, there's always, there's a stabbing every day. Yeah. Like you see a stabbing every day. Yeah. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, bro, it's different. Like big knives, people stab each other. It's like, like in the UK and shit. Yeah. And I'm just like, that's crazy, bro. Like it's wild everywhere, man. So it doesn't matter if you have a gun, if you have a knife, if you have a they're gonna find a way if to kill you. If you have a you. pot and pan, they're gonna fucking dump you in the fucking nut till you die. Bro, <laughs> we got fists. We can kill people with our own fists. We do it all the time. Are Bro, they gonna ban this? There's guys that knock each other out and then like one of them falls and hits their head on the curb and die. Like, it's like, bro, like it is what it is. It happens. There's a guy from Orlando, the boxer from Orlando, right here. He's Puerto Rican. The one that it was, he was like a boxer and he got hit in the head once and he hit him right in the good spot and now he's paralyzed and not the same no more. Like just from one hit, that's a these are weapons, bro. Yo, bro, that's so, why. Yeah, like like train legitimately train like boxers, bro. They could go to jail if they fight in the street. Yeah, because your your hands literally are like registered weapons. You can only use them in the ring. That ass. Like once you become a professional boxer, there's rules that come to that shit, bro. Yeah, you get you into a fight. street brawl, bro. Yeah, you can't you're, fight shit, you're going to jail. You can you can use self defense techniques and shit, but you can't I mean, like if, yeah. if you're getting mollywopped by five people, yeah. I wouldn't think anybody's gonna give a fuck if you start swinging on them. Self defense, like, it's nigga, yeah. fuck them up. Yeah, but if you're just out there starting fights and doing, you know what I'm saying, like shit like that, it's like, bro, yeah, bro, you can kill somebody. Bro, you punch the guy we'll the wrong way, bro, and he's out of here, and you're going to jail for fucking murder. Yeah, with a deadly weapon, and you didn't even have a weapon in your hand. <laughs> nah, yeah, no. <laughs> That's, bro, I don't know, man. That is, but listen, man. I just wanted to give some flowers when flowers is due. All right. A round of applause to our dog Future. Future's a fucking goat. Matter of fact, we're gonna hit it twice. You're right, Johnny. You're right, Johnny. Hit it twice, one more time. I give it to him. 
I give it to him. Give him. Give Future's him a flowers. goat, man. If you don't like him, fuck you. But future's a goat. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, he he changed the game. He changed the game. He changed you know, the auto tune sound. I remember when he first came out, people didn't like him. I know a bunch of niggas that weren't on that. They were, oh shit, try. Yeah, yeah. Bro, when everybody else started following that wave, and then everybody nah. was like, oh, you fucking future. Nah, people started following the wave when it was like, to be honest, when he made that song. To be honest, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. Yeah. Nah, bro. Listen. The first song I ever heard from him was Magic. And it was with him and T.I. And he was still young as fuck. And he was standing on the roof of Magic Strip Club with T.I. And I was like, who the I- fuck is this guy? <laughs> He's standing <laughs> with T.I. On the roof of fucking Magic. That's crazy. What a song named Magic. And that's a small ass <laughs> little club, bro. I actually see yeah, it. Yeah. But it's like famous it. over there. Yeah. Where they're from. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, that was the first song I ever heard from him. And I showed it to my dog. My dog was like, bro, that shit trash. That shit's small. I was as like, fuck. bro, this shit, this shit's I, a goal. This shit's fire, bro. You tripping. Yeah. And then, like, when he really blew up, like, he started dropping all these other songs. Like, niggas were like, damn, like, like crazy shit. Bro, I remember I went there, bro, just to see it. Me and Trey. We just we drove all the way out there drunk as fuck. Just to be like, look. And we saw That's where they shake ass. That's where it's at. And then we just we put the, that's window where the down. magic app. We're looking at it and then we just drove back <laughs> off and we, <laughs> <laughs> we got there because we thought it was Yo, gonna we be used popping. To do stupid shit. I'll never forget the day that we came all the way to Orlando. You're deep as fuck too, bro. You called us at like midnight. Oh, bro, yeah. bro, I just had this chick over. She left, come through. I was like, damn, but we were already drunk as yeah, fuck, too. I remember that. Trey looked at me and was like, oh, yo, let's ride like, out. Pull up on bro. Yo. I was like, all right, bet. Yo, they Fucking drove like slid, nigga. They drove drunk like as fuck. 45 minutes, bro. I'll never forget. I stayed the night. I was yeah. like, I ain't driving back, bro. I'm drunk as fuck. I'm fucked. Yeah, no, it man. I had to pay my dues, bro. I paid my dues. <laughs> he paid the dues. Yeah. Now, real talk. Listen, man. Hey, guys. Advice for the youngins out there. Good business beats finesse every time. Pay your dues. Pay your dues. Pay your dues. To the right people. Pay your dues. (laughs) Because the day that the dues pay you. They'll come around and. Hey, listen. It all depends on how much you put into the dues. Yeah, because if How much you get back from the dues. You know, you you put $10. You're going to get $10. You might get $10 and 10 cent back. Some dues poos. (laughs) Some fucking (laughs) poos dues for real, bitch. Nah, bro. Yeah. Always, bro. Always. I always pay my dues, bro. Always. I always try to, at least. You, nah, know you I mean? got to. You yeah. fucking... Listen, yeah. man. At the end of the day, bro... Sometimes I'm behind on my credit card. No, I'm just kidding. You know hey, what I mean? It happens, nah, man. Nah, but it happens but to all of us. as long as you pay your, your dues. dues. and you pay it. <laughs> when you it's dues. You might get a little late fee. You know what I mean? You might get a little late fee in there. But, you know, uh, you got to pay your dues, usually man. Usually, most places have, like, a couple day grace period. You know what I'm saying? They give you a couple days. And they yeah. like, all right, hurry up. Nigga. Yeah, hurry up. Get yo. your broke ass borrow from your fucking sister. Do yo, what you got to do. You better call the bank. You better let them know you can't make it this month, and then they're going to let you know. I don't know. We'll let you know because you've been buying two months. Unless you just, you know, just say fuck it, and then you just. And, hey, just fuck up your whole credit. <laughs> nah, fuck you up know, your whole life. You know what? <laughs> just change your name. Move. Oh, out of, Like, yeah. I don't know. Just spend a half a million dollars on a whole fake identity to not pay back 10 grand. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> nah, bro. I'm scared of debt, bro. To be honest Nah, with that's you. the scariest shit in the world. I'm like, scared. Like, thinking about, like, just. Of owing? Of owing. Working and just like owing. Some squid game shit. Yeah. Like you, get, you, you wake up one day, you're in a fucking gymnasium. Everybody you know is there. <laughs> like, yo, nigga, what you fucking yo, did you watch rapping, it? making bread every show? No, dude. Did you finish it or no? I finished the whole thing. You did? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it was good, bro. It was a good show, man. I, I, I In my opinion, it wasn't as fucking good as people made it out. Hey, of course. Everything is like, like that. Oh, my God. Fuck it. It's a, it was you a good knew, show. You knew it was going to happen at the end. You could tell. You're just like, oh, it's going to be this guy and somebody else. I don't know. Nah, who. I'm not going to lie. When it ended up, spoiler alert for those guys that haven't seen it yet, but when the when it ended up being the old man, yeah. I was like, oh, he's a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This old man's a fucking yeah, dick. Yeah, I'm bro. glad you died. But it's true, bro. When he was like, "Yo," he's like, "Were you being righteous when you took when you took advantage of your friend?" You remember when he was acting like he didn't remember? He's oh, like, oh yeah. Did I lose? And he's like, "Nah, yeah, you lost." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Were you taking advantage of me?" That is shit. Like, nah, it was it was a good show, but I don't know, man. 
I nah, don't I don't like that, bro. Fuck that, bro. It scares the shit out of me. If you're in debt, if, because if sorry. you if you have that debt and you die, guess where that debt goes and you got kids? That shit goes to your kids. Listen, man, you gotta be responsible. Don't leave your kids with debt, man. Like at least like if you're not gonna leave them with money, at least don't leave them with debt. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, there's people out there that already ain't getting shit. You know what? So it's like, fuck you ain't it. getting nothing, but now you can I'm just I'm going to buy a brand new house on you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to be here for another 20 years. I'm going to just get a 40 fucking year payment and for just real. fucking living it till I die. You and know what you I mean? take care of it. No, nah, right? man. What the fuck, man? Like, bro, I don't want to live there. I don't like the house. Ah, man. Some, you know, there's a lot of toxic traits you got to cancel out, too, when, you know, from your family. You know what I mean? Because everybody got toxic traits, too. Like you just gotta just break that cycle, man. Like if there's a bad managing and money in your family, learn how to fucking cancel it out and just start doing it on your own. You gotta relearn. Yeah, that's you gotta a unlearn fact. You gotta to relearn. Reset. You gotta you gotta reset what you've learned sometimes, bro. Not all of it, but sometimes yeah, you gotta look back and Hell be like, no. bro, this is why we're fucking broke all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Because like, as soon as you got some money, bro, you want to go fucking spend it. Yeah, you want like, to go out to fuck. Jamaica for a week. Like, yeah, nah, chill. Like, yo, bro, like, you know you're coming back broke. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, what swear. are we doing? Be like, my $200. <laughs> we only got 200 <laughs> Yeah, no. no, only two hundred. Nah. But don't you already owe two hundred? Nah, for real. So it's only four hundred. Like, damn, bro, damn. damn. I be seeing my fucking family members going through it sometimes. I'm like, Jesus. Guys. I thought I was in a in a hole sometimes in, in my life, and I look back, I look at other people, and I'm like, God. That's I like can't do. I'm not doing it. Yeah. I just rather not vacation for ten fucking years. Yeah, just I to get swear, out of there, bro. Yeah. That's what. That's one thing I'd be listening to Gary Vee about. Yeah, he's like, I ain't shit <laughs> for like twelve I, years. He's like, I didn't go to no fucking party. No, that I didn't I, go out to no he's fucking. Like, I didn't restaurant. buy no fucking swag clothes. Uh, yeah, I didn't like right next to Dave East, and Dave East Dave is doing out. Drip the fuck out. <laughs> nah, he was like a fresh nah, like, uh, guy, but Dave East was like. <laughs> But dog, uh, but Yo. nah, it's fucking facts. It's like, bro, I've said it all the time. I tell you all the time, bro, you're gonna see a different side of me that you've never <sighs> seen when we take this vacation. Yo. When it's time, when, when we, it's time. When we, when but we right that, now, we gotta grind. When we get that check, you know what I mean? When it's time, bro, we gonna party. We're gonna live it up. Yeah. But I'm not gonna go fucking party and be in debt to look like. You know what I'm saying? I'm living a certain lifestyle. Like when we get to that real lifestyle for real, yeah, then I'll then you it's know. Like, okay, then yeah, it's I'm like then it's my lifestyle. I'm trying to I'm hit not, Miami, fucking. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it ain't all that, bro. I actually hate Miami now. Miami's just. I don't hate it. I just don't like the fucking people. People are trash. We've talked about this shit so many times. I know. I like the vibes to where it's like. Everybody feels like they're doing something important. When you're in the city, you see the Rolls Royces, you see the expensive cars. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you I may, like that you, part. It, it looks like people yeah. are doing something. And it feels like there's an importance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like to live there, bro. I'll never forget when I went there for your fucking birthday, right? I yeah, pulled into the garage and I didn't pull up all the way or some shit like that. And the fucking gate wasn't going up, bro. I sat there for like seven <laughs> minutes, no lie. And the girl that lived there was so pissed. So pissed. She was in like a nursing outfit. She looked like shit, to be honest. She looked like she got punched in both her eyes. Like she would look tired. That, like that you could tell she was at the hospital for like thirty six straight hours, and she was coming home, bro. And when I fucked up her morning even more, bro, she bro, she was like some Russian looking chick, bro. And I was like, damn, bro, she's gonna stab me, bro. Nah, that fucking them towers but were that leaning. Shit, that shit, no, them bitches were swaying. <laughs> but the thing was, at that moment, I realized I was like, bro, this chick lives here. I just got an Airbnb here, so I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm I know. But it's like she lives here. That bro. parking garage was shit. Exactly. Like your door could get thumped by another fucking car. You never know who it was. It was like a one way up and down. Three million dollars to be at the like in a building that just goes like this all fucking night. It's just <laughs> like holy shit. Nah, that's that's scary, bro. I'm actually like trying to not be up that high anymore. I don't that know why I do that, at, bro. The last little why. party you had, bro, I was up there. I was looking down. Sometimes I was cooling. There's other times I looked down and I was like, bro, I got to get away from this this balcony because we got a couple boys that are, that are, they don't play that. They ain't showing up. Yeah, he didn't come. I know. Shout out to Trey. That nigga <laughs> said, bro, I'm not, he told us from the beginning. Yeah, he's, like, bro, he's like, he's like, how hard is it? <laughs> We're like, I was like, bro, this nigga ain't coming. Yeah. As soon as he said and that, when he said that, I got upset. I was like, <laughs> 
<laughs> maybe 30 maybe 30 floors he's nah, like, I, t- I told him 12 <laughs> he's like I can't do it even then yeah he's like nah nah it's too high I was like bro because if he would have got there I should have said that inside. I should have said first I'm not gonna floor. lie bro I was getting anxiety when I was in the uh, elevator because I was like fuck you feel your ears starting to pop and you're like bro first of all we're high up if this shit just stops working we're fucked <laughs> You feel me? Like you just Yo, start people thinking, die in like, elevators that's what I'm all saying. the time. It's just like fuck. Imagine that shit falling from that high up, bro. You're dead. I shit myself before I fucking die. I wonder if you could survive that. I mean, people fall that high, bro. And Thirty they, floors. I think. I think. No, they, you're fucked. I don't care what you try to do in there. Niggas be like, just jump before the fucking <laughs> shit. First of all, how do you know when this shit's about to hit the floor? <laughs> That That's was, number one. Number two, even if you did that, bro, your inertia is inertia. Science is science, nigga. You're dead. Oh my god, you're still gonna hit the floor with the same force that you were following at. Like, talk, talk about horrible deaths, man. That's that's horrible. Falling nah, off the nah, building. That's crazy. That's crazy. Falling anywhere. Yeah, no, you know, even crazy. falling like just even from five feet. You know, I fell. I fell. My hard. dog fell from three feet, and it always adds another fucking twelve inches when he talks about it. It, it adds another twelve <laughs> inches of fucking pain, pain bitch. in my head, bro. <laughs> I hit my noggin so hard that I fucking I had a mini concussion. You know, I swear. I'm not gonna lie, I don't fall often, but when I do, bro, that should be killing me. I bro. forgot my name, my middle name, and my birthday, bro. They got flipped one time, kicked Pedro on the back of the head, and almost broke my fucking back. <laughs> All at the in like two seconds. I've I was getting out of a truck. I fucking did a whole front flip, kicked this nigga in the back of the head, almost knocked him over. I never, I never seen you. <laughs> I never seen you fall, bro. Nah, that's what I mean. That's a bad fall, bitch. I almost broke my fucking back. Yeah, bro. I don't fall. It, it happens bruised. like once. It happened like it happened like once every ten years. You know where you get. But a- when it happens, bitch, it's like damn, this nigga did a flip, bitch. Like you know when you get a bruise when you're not supposed to get a bruise at it hurts. It hurts even worse. You know how when you get bruises on normal spots in your body and don't hurt as much as like the ones that you get like when you fall? No, nah, like, that's a fact. Like, Listen, I went bowling hurt. the other day, right? And my thumb felt like it got fucking ran over the next day. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck happened that has my thumb black and blue? <laughs> And it's a fucking bowling ball, bro. It's like, damn, yeah. nigga. Damn, How do these fat things- Thumbelina nah, ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Thumbelina. Nah, bro. There was some biggins over there, all right? Fucking oh my 300 God. pound ass niggas, bro. But I'm like, how the fuck do they do this, bro? My whole hand felt like it got ran over, I swear to God. I oh. got punched the fucking meat grater. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, them bruises hurt, bro. I had bruises on my sides before, like places where it's not it's not supposed to be. Like, you know, and it yeah, just Yeah, like a ghost just, came by and just kicked you in your fucking rib. <laughs> like and Tom, just kept walking. Tommy the ghost just said, Hallelujah. And he punched said, you right in the gut, you know? Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's your birthday? <laughs> Happy birthday, 30, bitch. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Who the hell is hitting me? Yo, you remember getting jumped. Yo, let's talk about that yeah. real quick. Y'all remember being younger and jumping your friends on their birthdays? Or just jumping them, period. But like, just jumping your friends on their birthday for real? Yeah. But it's like, you know wow. what, bro? Today, how old are you? 21? One, two. And you got to sit there and take it. Yeah. Because if you the run, worst. they're just going to trip you and jump you anyway. Oh, my gosh, bro. <laughs> That sucks. Y'all kids don't know nothing about that nowadays, bro. No, bro. You go to school on your birthday scared. Parents be like, happy birthday. Have a good day at school. Oh, my God. Yeah, And right. you're, you're like, yo, I'm about to fucking get thumped out. Yeah, bro. Like, they're about to whoop, thump me over my head, nah, bro. No, they can't do that no more because now everybody's soft, bro. So yeah, everything's you different. Start, that shit happened in the hallways and Mike, our janitor, be like, all right, all right. Hey, stop. Stop it before he gets really hurt. For real. He already took like 30 shots. Yeah, bro. <laughs> he I'm, already got jumped. I've got, I got jumped plenty of times, bro. Bro, yeah, I remember I friends. jumped you one time. Yeah, it was like it was, Justin, it was, Jerry. It was like five people. It was nah, we were hitting this. Yeah, thing. it wasn't hit. no face shots though. Nah, but I was getting hit. This nigga was taking arm shots, leg shots, bro. I think somebody fucking hit him in the ankle. He I was, was hurt. So, I was upset. <laughs> I was about to leave Yo, home. he was upset But what are you gonna do When five niggas Already jumped you Yeah I know So I was fucking guessing I was like I was fuck you All you guys All five of you If somebody yeah. like that There's not That's all I can do I can't do nothing yeah. else So I'm just gonna flick you guys yeah. off and, and get mad It's like nigga If I just got jumped I, It is fuck y'all niggas But yeah. it's like I literally just got jumped. I can't just start stealing off on one of y'all niggas. Yeah. I'm gonna get jumped again. Yeah, exactly. I'm already hurt and I'm about to freaking get I'm a cane over to here. The fucking car. I, I need a cane. 
I'm out here, bro, getting elbowed in the rib. You're, bro, rib shots are different. Kidney yeah. shots are different. Nah, body shots are different. I remember yeah. one time, David, shout out to David, man. Me and him started, like, boxing out of nowhere, bro. But real body shots, just like, mm, 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 going back and forth, bro. Them body shots are different. Because you could take them in the moment, but after a second, it's like, them bitches start stinging. And the next day, bro, you're like, bro, my ribs are broke. Yeah. <laughs> like, my, say, my ribs are broke. They say like that's spots. good, though. They say it's good, you know, to, to tap, you know. Bitch, not with no gloves. <laughs> we were in that bitch like you we're might as well kids. Put some stones on your you fucking. Might as well fist. just fucking take a two by four to the stomach, bitch. Yeah. Fuck. Oh my gosh, man, that's rough, bro. Yeah, being being beat up as a kid is different, bro. It may, it toughens you up. It makes you into a little bit of a yeah. A we talked guy. about it before, but I, I I agree, bro. If you listen, if you've never been in a tussle, yeah, and you never had a flexion muscle, then you're probably a wussy. And you're probably a fucking. Yeah, you're, you're the you're the type bit, to run away like, when you see your boy getting beat up. Nah, if you're the type, listen, bro, I've seen that. Type I've seen of shit. it. I've seen niggas stand in a gas station in line while their boy is getting jumped at the pump. Ain't no fucking way you can explain that to me. If I'm getting jumped at the pump, you're inside going to put gas in the car and get blunts, whatever you're doing. And I'm at the pump, nigga, getting jumped by like 10 niggas, bro. And you don't see it, bro. <laughs> run me my one, bro. Yeah, home, you know, bro. You no, know no, what? run me my you one. Because what? ain't no way. Actually, at some point, nigga, I don't care who you are, nigga, you look back to see what pump you was at. You know, be like, oh, shit, what pump was it? You yeah. look back. When you look back and you see yeah, hey, niggas just molly whopping you, nigga. back and then he walked back into the skittle aisle. <laughs> And he said, nah, hold on. I think I want these skills. I think I forgot the fucking pretzels. Hold on. I might need to take a shit real quick. Hold on. Let me. Hold on. I was in the bathroom. I might need an air freshener. Hold on. Nah, bro. This nigga dead ass said I didn't see it. Yeah, well, I'll tell you. I'll give you something. I'll, I'll give see. you something that I. I'll tell you what I didn't see. You no. get in my fucking car to go home. I'll give you something. To Figure see. it out. These fucking fists in your. Yo, in I'm your gonna eyes. punch you in your fucking eye socket, bro. Yeah. But anyways, man. Both of them. Don't be. Don't be that guy. Yeah. Don't be a bitch. Don't yeah, don't. That's that's lesson of the day. Of that lesson episode. of the day, guys. Take that with you. Don't ever forget it. Yeah. But listen, I hope everybody has a good fucking Thursday, though. We appreciate you. We love you. Tell somebody you love them. And listen, man, hit that notification so you're notified every time we drop. All right. We appreciate you guys. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. We out. <laughs>